Stacked is launching an online store where you'll be able to find a curated collection of both home and decor brands. Visit stackedhomes.com slash store and join our mailing list for exclusive updates. So behind this seemingly old school shop house facade is a members only exclusive social club. Exactly, and we've got the creative brains here with us today to bring us through the space. So really excited. Yeah, everybody, welcome to Mandela Club. Hi, I'm P. I'm the creative director of Mandala Group. We sort of concocted this idea of creating a membership club. We can bring people together and create connections. We also have a cultural calendar, so we're really, really focused on our programming here. With our programming, um, we do all sorts of things from meditations to talks from thought leaders throughout the world. And we have performances, um, we do kind of kids craft workshops. So we've got lots and lots of things going on, literally daily. This bar looks amazing. What was your design process for this? I think what we were trying to do up here was really create a really homely space. Before we came in, it was, you know, very hard lined, like cold surfaces, and we sort of wanted to make it a little more intimate. We did a lot of timber detailing, it ah. kind of warms up the space. Um, and we also have amazing fabricators we've been working with for so long in Indonesia. So in the morning, we've got people up here with laptops, um, you know, having, you know, Skype meetings in the afternoon, maybe around four o'clock, a few like sort of sake is coming out okay. and things like mm. that. And then it just heats up and becomes a nightclub. Okay, so we're standing so close to these chairs, so I'm just wondering, they're yes. giving me like a bit of barbershop, but old school, Great Gatsby, I don't know. Yeah. What, how did you get these yes. pieces? Great Gatsby. <laughs> these are custom made um, for the club. Okay. Um, these were one of those sort of like longer items we were having to sample. Obviously, we wanted we wanted to design with comfort in mind. Yeah. Um, but we also wanted something very chic. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, and it really fits both roles, right? It's yeah. like both you could work here, you could enjoy. Oh the yeah. Party. So if you thought the outside was exclusive, wow. Check this out. Wow. It's crazy. Insane. When we kind of envisioned the space, like the, the club in general, um, we really wanted to celebrate like the Singaporean flora and fauna. Mm -hmm. It's so gorgeous. You will actually see that with the uniforms. We use a lot of florals. We had this lovely contact in Indonesia who is an artist and hand painted the print for us. Wow. And on the other side, we've got a room that feels, a space that feels completely different. So how did that happen? Right. Well, I, I think you'll see a lot throughout this building. We really like to like juxtapose the spaces. Oh. So there is like heaviness and light, uh -huh. lux, and when you look up, yeah. very mechanical and industrial. Oh, um, and of course, one of the pieces that we cannot ignore, everybody, is the one behind Ruben. The time machine. What on earth is that? <laughs> this is a bar cabinet. Another bespoke piece we got made for the club. I'll take you inside and have a look. All right. <laughs> Off to Narnia. Off to Narnia. <laughs> right. Off to Narnia. <laughs> wow, look at this. Yeah, so currently it holds glassware. Mm -hmm. We've actually had a couple of members um, really love it and request it for their homes. and they, So they've put out their full bar kit in here. Wow. Oh my gosh, look at this room. Damn. You okay. can smell the wood. Exactly. <laughs> so it's something you probably can't get through the camera, yeah, but you can sorry. smell the wood of the place. It actually smells as strong as it did the day we moved in, so I'm happy about that. It's beautiful, right? Yeah, and even in the cellar, there's, of course, great design here. There's a big centerpiece, but this is a segue to another room, is that right? It is, yeah. Okay. So we've got a little door at the back. So this is, yeah, when we came in here, it was kind of a little, like, secret door. Uh -huh. But yeah. then, beyond this, it's also another great space. Oh, wow. <laughs> So here we are in the den. Um, mm. This is our sort of predominantly used in the evening space. Um, we have cigar smoking in here, whiskey drinking. You'll oh. probably see some chess, chess yes. set, set up. Yeah. You definitely get the whiff of that cigar. Ooh, yeah. yes. <laughs> it's still, it's it's still here from last night. So yeah. a couple of interesting things here. Um, again, we've got local um, artwork. I believe that's by Sam. Sam Lowe, yeah. Sam Lowe. And you, you mentioned that every piece in this room is also bespoke custom. Yes, it is. Yeah. Based on what you talked about, about juxtaposition, I've got a few observations. You can see if I'm, I'm right. All right. So we've got marble fireplace that's like black and white, first juxtaposition. And mm -hmm. then the coffee table um, has wood and marble, which is also sort of like an opposite. And then with all the warm notes, there are these like green and blue accents with the artwork on the wall. 
Very astute observations. <laughs> How's that? Is that? Very good. Very natural. Very well done. Nice. <laughs> so welcome to Mori. This is our Japanese 16-seat um, omakase restaurant. The name Mori means a dream the forest is having, and that that space sits under a canopy of trees in a forest. Is that why we have like picking flowers? Yeah, oh, flowers above. Yeah. Interestingly, the, the the space we have in Hokkaido is called Seasons. So every season, we actually change out these florals. So this oh. is this is actually the summer florals. Something that's been on my mind for some time. Yeah. Uh, you you know you transition from this Western kind of influence space to something that's more Oriental. How mm -hmm. did that impact your design thinking? Basically, the, the team kind of did quite a big deep dive because we're not Japanese, um, none of our designers are. We did a big deep dive into Japanese aesthetic. We're looking at the ideas of wabi-sabi and things like that. So you kind of see how that's translated with like a lot of the diffuse light. This is our club restaurant. Um, it's the heart of the club. It's, as you can see, it's, it's our most sort of eclectic space. Yeah. Feels like I'm in a Wes Anderson film. Yeah. Oh, I like that. I like that. <laughs> so I always look at the dining table and I notice that even the cups are like really fun and vibrant and colourful, yes. right? Yeah. yeah, yeah. We really wanted it to feel like a home. Mm -hmm. So like we want it to feel like there's a history here and you know that like, it's been layered over time. So you know we have these like really contemporary pieces and then there's you know like we've actually you know made new pieces but made them look old. <laughs> really wanted our members to be able to come into the kitchen, interact with the chef, see what's going on and mm. you know, be a part of it and see like we've got this, um, there's kind of an opening here, this, yeah. this actually flips open, we fill it with ice and on Sundays we have a big seafood buffet and then this is obviously this sort of farmhouse like pass, so yeah. you know, again that homeliness. And you can yeah. see it with the colours as well, we've got yeah. the blue, the green, the Yeah, textures. yeah and we, we're really lucky to actually have these beautiful like heritage tiles in the building already so mm -hmm. that kind of, I think that sort of inspired the rest of the colours in here. Exactly. And they yeah. almost forget that you're in a shop house. Yeah, like that's, that's exactly. Yeah. Like four story shop house. <laughs> yeah, Amazing. that's right. Yeah. So one thing that I've had my eye on since the beginning is that there's this huge open space. Yes. I think mm. that's like alfresco. Can we have a look at that place? Absolutely. Let's do it. So I feel like I've just transitioned into a whole different space altogether. What mm. do you have in mind for this area? See a lot of like um flora. Yeah. <laughs> this space is really important, like it's very rare to get this size of outdoor space. Oh, yeah. So we, we spend a lot of time on this. We wanted to create a space that maybe contrasts a lot of what you see around here, with like the kind of cold raw iron furniture and things like that. We wanted it to feel plush and sweet and like really friendly and cosy. Because yeah. um, some people are out here for hours. <laughs> oh, you've made us want to come outdoors. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> that's, 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 that's the that's, truth that's of good design. That's saying something, especially in Singapore. Yeah, right? but you said soft and sweet and that's really quite unconventional for an outdoor space. Yeah. Usually you get a very like um, waterproof material, stuff yes. like that. Yeah. But to see the soft furnishings, exactly. even on the chairs and all. Yeah. Wow, that's that's really new. It's like in every room you go into, there's always this new element of novelty. Yeah. Into you. <laughs> yeah, yeah. This is um. Well, this is the analog room. This is a space that we sort of started designing with um, the DJ console in mind. Mm. Um, we wanted that to be like the you know feature focus of the room. Mm -hmm. Um, and then we kind of built out the audio library from there. So we've got all our records in there, oh. um, yeah, music books and that kind of thing. Yeah. And then it kind of sort of permeates out to here where we've got a lot of vintage furniture, things are a little bit more edgier. Yeah. yeah this definitely different. feels a lot more like a creative space. Yeah. Like you've got all these contemporary artwork, which is very different from what we've seen before. Yeah. 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 I reckon you probably have parties here as well. We do, yeah. indeed. <laughs> yeah. yeah, it's quite cool. These ones sort of more organically happen. They're like less, yeah, less planning involved. Really, it draws in the creatives. It's quite, quite interesting. You get a lot of like musicians. And... So this is the library. Um, this is our kind of much more quiet space. It's where people come and retreat if they want a bit of quiet time, read a book, or take a phone call, have more intimate meetings. Um, I guess much like a home, we wanted to be able to have that variety in spaces where we have those like busy happening spaces like kitchens and then like, you know, a quiet mm. lounge on the side. Yeah. yeah, And you also notice that it's so much darker tones in here. I feel like even the pictures are yeah. darker. Um, but then you get the highlights. Yeah, like, the, the 
sort of visual pieces become like the books themselves? Yes. Yeah, we work with um, Asseline to curate this library and actually build, like physically build the shelving and, oh, and things. Wow. They have such beautiful covers of their books. You know, content's obviously great, but yeah. Um, yeah, their covers are incredible. I'm seeing another little pathway here. There's something behind, there's another room behind this room. You found another bar. Are you for real? <laughs> yes. Another bar, it's a, it's let's a whiskey go. room. <laughs> Now we're in the whiskey room, um, or also known as the tasting room. Um, this is a space where we have a lot of fun. <laughs> um, no, it's not just a bar. <laughs> no, 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 no. We have groups book this out for events. Um, people do like poker nights. Um, we did a candle uh, workshop in here. Um, but yeah, mo mostly drinking is done in this room. Nice. <laughs> it's almost like the whole room is focused onto this showcase here, right? Right, yeah. yeah. We wanted the archive to really shine and show the magic beauty of those whiskies. Yeah. <laughs> so I've been to a number of gyms in my life and this is the first time I've seen four chandeliers in one gym. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I guess we couldn't put disco balls in this room, so we had to, yeah. you know, switch it up. Switch it up a little bit, yeah. yeah. <laughs> so I'm, I'm noticing the Original architecture has remained as well, sort of like the, the roof. Yeah. It, it's really lovely actually during the day to work out in here. It's really like daylight, daylight film. Mm -hmm. yeah. It kind of like bounces. And there's also all these other sort of small details, mm -hmm. like the mirror. Usually you have just like a plain mirror. But you guys have sort yes. of laid some grid over that, that still allows the mirror to serve its function, but there's this design element, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah I guess it was, yeah, again, like. <laughs> we love to decorate, and it was that, that homely feeling again. Yeah. You know, I mean, you know, you wouldn't typically have like big kind of mirrored yeah. surfaces in your home. Yeah, Ruben, this is just the gym, right? So yeah. imagine the locker room. Oh my! Yeah. Is it, you want to see? There has yeah. to be one. Right? Have yeah. a look. <laughs> and we are not disappointed. This is some changing room. Wow. It feels like I'm in a living room, not a changing room. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I mean that's the vi that's the vibe we were hoping for. Yeah, we don't want people to rush off and go off to work. You know, you're supposed to take your time here. Mm -hmm. So you can sit down and read. It, you'll even notice in the rooms, um, in the changing rooms themselves, they're quite generous in space. All the shower rooms sort of have the same uh, design except for the feature wall. They yes. sort of take on a life of its own in each room, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. Well, members are here every day. We want to like spark it up, right? So we actually got those tiles hand painted in Bali. Wow. Um, again, lots of flora and fauna painted. Um, so P, thank you so much for showing us around today. I think it really just blew us out of the water. This mm. entire space, yeah. it's gorgeous. And yeah. we'll have to sign up as members, really. We, ha yeah. yeah. I right. think, yeah. So uh, there's there's someone downstairs. I think that we could. Yeah, we'll yeah, let's, application. yeah, yeah let's 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 Thank you, guys. Yeah, we'll see you around. Yeah. Alright, so we've officially wrapped up everything for today. Mm. Can you give us some of your thoughts on this space? Okay, so I think this is my new favourite place. <laughs> I feel like you said it after every, every year, like, right? new favourite place, new favourite place. But one of the things that I really appreciate is this touch of luxury. Sure, yeah. Even though um, P was talking about it being very homey, mm. there's still this like elevated yeah. luxury in all the rooms. It. Yes, right? You can, you can smell it. You yeah. Can, yeah. It's, hey, it's how nice. about you? How about you? Uh, you mentioned every room. Yeah. For me, every room had brought this new novelty. Yeah. It was like, I, I wouldn't be, like, I would be expecting one thing and then that room would just yes. showcase something else. Yeah. And I think it's good for diversity, right? Like yeah. people come in here and they want to switch things up. So right. that was really nice. Well guys, if you've got any other cool places, exclusive places that you want us to check out, mm -hmm. let us know in the comment section below. And as always, don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Right. We'll catch you for the next tour. Yeah, I'm going to go and light my fire now. At the fireplace? Yeah, at the fireplace. The marble fireplace. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I'm going to be doing work. Okay. At the bar. Where the, okay. Yeah, see you. <laughs>